Hi hey everybody, today we're going to take a look at Kahoot. This is one of the assessment tools that we're going to be focusing on here uh, for this semester. So go ahead and you just log in and what you can do is you can use your Ashland Gmail account, log in with Google, select an account, and you're in. And once you get inside Kahoot, you can see different options. You can go to the home screen, you can go to Discover, which is a nice so you can find a Kahoot. Maybe you want to save time and you're doing something. So for instance, you just look up World War I and you'll notice a lot of different cahoots come up which can save you time and especially if you're in a pinch uh, with class coming up or something like that. If you click on the cahoots tab that will show you the cahoots which you have made and then reports will allow you to generate the results from those specific reports. Maybe you gave extra credit or you had you wanted to record this as a quiz in the gradebook so you were allowed to do that. Go back and download your reports and you can put your grades right into the gradebook. Back here on the home page, you can see if you scroll down to the bottom right, you'll see there's some tips and tricks for you, which is really nice, kind of little help section here right within uh, Kahoot itself. If you go to settings, you can mod uh, modify your profile, change the settings, password, delete your account, and then you'll be able to register or affiliate as well with your organization that you're working at. So we're going to make a Kahoot. That's the objective here. And what we're going to do is simply select the create option in the top right corner. We're going to create a new Kahoot. Now notice it's going to give you some templates that you can use, which is nice if you choose to do so to save some time. Now I just, again, I mentioned I just create a simple Kahoot. And here we are with our question. So I'm going to just type in a question. Right, and we go in, we add our answer options. Now we want to make sure if this is an assessment or we're giving like a, a little quiz, we want to make sure we select which option is correct. If we wish to add an image, we can do so from the image library, which Kahoot provides for us. We can upload an image from our computer, or maybe we want to include a video from YouTube. We can just simply insert the link directly right here into YouTube. Now, we want to add another question. So when you select the add question, you're going to notice you have five different options of which you can choose from. A quiz, True, false, this will be the multiple choice option, the quiz option. True, false, a puzzle, which you can make students put in a specific order, for instance. A slide, or maybe you just want to gather opinions about something, you can go ahead and select the poll option. So right here, I'm just going to select true, false, just to give you an idea. And then again, you would go and select your correct option. Want to make sure also you want to give your Kahoot a title. So we'll just call this example one. You can put in a description if you would like. Branding, it's up to you. Language, up to you. And then I always like to make it visible to everyone right here. You can put a cover image in as well if you would like. You'll notice you have the other question options here. And as you see the three icons, these represent questions that are actually in the paid uh, subscription model. So. For the free one, which we're going to use, you can only use the quiz option or the true false option, which is fine. So I'm going to go ahead and click out of there. And now we have our quiz ready to go. So when it is ready to be sent to students, we can hit done. Who is ready to be played. Perfect. Now it takes you back to the main menu and you can play the Kahoot. If you want to go back, you can edit, rename, share, duplicate. Whatever it is that you would like, maybe for instance you have are going to be using the same quiz but for a different section of the same course, you can duplicate it and it makes it a lot easier for you. And then here you can just go ahead and delete it. Now I'm going to go ahead and play this Kahoot. And you're going to notice the different device options that you have here. So team by team, which is shared devices, or the one-on-one -on -one player versus player where everybody has their own individual device. Now again, you can have students pair up. So for instance, maybe you want to have them work in pairs, but you would choose this option here, the player versus player, and the group would only have one person's cell phone or smartphone that they would use, or computer for instance, that they would use uh, to do that. And as you go down, you can see there are some options here, which you can select related to your Kahoot. Name generator, order, you know, kind of random, uh, randomize the questions so that they're not all the same. Randomize the order of answers as well. This kind of helps cut down on cheating and things of that nature. Automatically moving through the questions. And you can see the other options that are here for you. 
So now once we have that, we go ahead and select the classic option and you can see the Kahoot menu pops up. And now what I'm going to do, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and open this up in an incognito tab so you can see what it looks like to the student as they're taking the quiz itself. So this is what your students will see when they go to log in or sign in to your specific game. So they go and they take the pin, which in this case is 678833, and they enter that in, 678833, there you go. Enter it in, and then just have them enter a nickname or a last name, for instance, is a really nice way to do that. Students can log in, they're in. Now this is back to what you're going to see. As you'll see, as students begin to enter into the quiz, you'll notice their names will begin to pop up. So once you have accounted for all of your students in here that they are ready to go, you go ahead and select the start option. And now you, because of the options that you chose, you'll be able to control the pace at which the question is delivered. Now I have the audio turned off, uh, but you will be hearing audio. So for instance, this will be broadcast to the class right here. So this is the question that will appear on the board, but from the student perspective, it will look like this, right? So they're only going to be choosing the question options or excuse me, the answer options, one of them. Notice it correlates. So if I want to say, yes, uh, one on one is two. Classroom perfection, correct. It's going to come up and tell me as a student that it is correct. Now back here to the teacher mode, you'll notice in real time, it'll give you the feedback to the students as well. So you can tell right away who got it right, who got it wrong. Next, now notice when you hit the next button, it will give you a score of each person or group that is in there and how they are performing on the quiz. And then lastly here, just so you can get an example of what the true false would look like. For you, as the teacher, this is what the big board would look like. If you're sitting up there and you have it on your projector. For students, this would be the true false option here. Go ahead and hit that. Correct. And you go back. And once all your students have answered or the timer runs out, you hit the next button. And this will tell you the winners here. So that way, maybe if you're giving away extra credit or something for the top three groups, whatever it is that you would like. Get feedback. This would just simply uh, show the feedback. <clears throat> you can see the person's everything here. And when you go to save results, so for instance, you can download the scores or just save them directly to your drive right within Kahoot, which is pretty nice. So we're done here. Once you finish, just go ahead and close out that particular tab, and that will bring you back to your main menu here. So really, it's, it's pretty nice. Uh, it's, it's easy to do. If you want to share the Kahoot, you just simply click on the share link. You can share with people in many, many different varieties, tweeting, Facebook, Pinterest, by email, Remind. So those of you who have a Remind in your classroom, you can just put it right there. Google Classroom, put it right on your stream. You can see the share link here as well. So these are different options for you to utilize Kahoot in the classroom. Hopefully you find an opportunity to do so. And you'll find this is a really great activity, especially for students, you know, creating excitement in the room and students do really get into it and really enjoy using Kahoot. Uh, so it's really fantastic. Plus, if you have them working in, for instance, teams of that nature, they will be in a collaborative style, which also fosters a really, really, really good amount of discussion and analysis of various topics. So thank you. Hope you are able to use this technology in the classroom very soon.